Hello, welcome to ProMixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna show you how to set your reverb time and pre delay time. But before we go anywhere, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like the video. This method is the 60,000 method. Now, here is how it works you have to divide 60,000 divided by the BPM of your song, the tempo of your song. Now, I have this vocal right here and this is incorrect and incorrect reverb and this is how it sounds like when you throw in an incorrect reverb into your mix a lot of mud a lot of dirt and a lot of uh, unpleasant sound now how do you set your reverb time and your pre-delay time using the 60,000? method the first thing that you need to know is your bpm or the tempo of your song like my song if you're using cubase just hold control t and then cubase is going to show you the tempo of your song but the tempo of my song is 52 so now that i know or you know the tempo of your song you can follow along now that you know the tempo of your song or the tempo of my song i know the tempo of my song i'm gonna pull up a calculator and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 60,000, 60,000. Then I'm going to divide by the tempo of my song, which is 52. And that is going to be equals to 1153.84. So you've got to round it off. This is going to be 1.16. So 1.16, I'm going to get it and go to my reverb time and then i'm gonna type in one one point one six hit enter so this is my reverb time now i need you need to find your pre-delay time now how do we find our pre-delay time what you do is divide your reverb time by two remember when finding reverb time we did sixty thousand divided by our tempo which is the bpm of the song i want you to follow me now now that we have found our reverb time the moment you find your reverb time know that you have also found your pre-delay time because it is simple i'm gonna pull up my calculator so we found we calculated 60,000 divided by 52, which is a tempo divided by the tempo of uh, the song, which was uh, 1153.84. Then we rounded it off to 1.16. We put our reverb time right there. Now, we are going to find our pre delay time. How? We are going to divide this reverb time number by two, uh, divide by. 2 equals 576.92 and so on and so forth. So to round it off, this is going to be 5.77. Just add a 1 to a 6 and it's going to be 5. So this is going to be our pre-delay time, which is 5. I'm going to just go to your pre-delay. Pre-delay. Uh, I remove. So it's going to be 5 point seven seven so this is gonna be my pre-delay and this is gonna be my decay or my reverb time remember once again to find your reverb time calculate your just put in sixty thousand always use sixty thousand divide by your bpm or the tempo of your song so the tempo of my song is 52 so divide by 52 and then i'm gonna do equals to 1153.84 then round it off this same number 1153.84 then i'm gonna round it off to 1.16 then i set it in my reverb time 1.16 then i needed to find the pre-delay and once you find your reverb, reverb time you have already found your pre-delay because it is simple all you gotta do is divide your reverb time by two this time you're going to divide it by two sixty thousand divide by fifty two then we had 
I had my reverb time, which is 11.53.84, 1.56. Then I'm gonna divide now to find the uh, pre delay. I'm gonna divide this reverb time just by two divided by two equals to 576.92 and so on. So I'm gonna round it off to 5.77. Then I had to put it in my pre-delay 5.77 and this is how it sounds like with the right reverb. And this is how it sounded like without the right timing. It was very bad and this is the right time. The reverb is working out fine. It's not mudding up the track or the mix. Everything is working out fine. Why? Because it is set in the right time. The reverb is in the right time. The pre-delay is, is also in the right time. And there is also an easy way you can find your reverb time without really calculating. And that is by using edge delay. All you have to go, go to waves, edge delay, get your edge delay. And then edge delay comes with, uh, recognizes your tempo immediately, automatically will recognize your tempo. So edge delay has, a, has already recognized my tempo, which is 52 BPM. And then always use a quarter note. So just go to one over four, one over four, one over four, which is a quarter note. And then from there, go to MS check what is going to happen ms 1154 so this is my reverb time if i type in 60000 divide by 52 it's going to give me 1153 but when you round it off it's going to be 1154 and when you come to cubis and check out what uh edge delay has automatically de detected 1154 and edge delay has actually detected my reverb time so just use 1154 to find your pre-delay and what you do is just 1154 1154 divided by divide by two it's gonna give you 577 which is gonna be your uh pre-delay when you round it off it's gonna be five point Eight, and then that 5.8 just load it up the way I did it so this is the simplest way you can follow along you can always rewind this video and check out what I have done just for you to get it right I'll see you in the next one